Hi everybody! Right, so I've been a really bad teacher. I keep avoiding doing physics topics, which is really, really naughty. Um, I don't know why I don't enjoy filming these as much, but it doesn't matter. You have to learn it, I have to film it. So, taking the ball by the horns and doing physics. I'm going to be looking today at the difference between mass and weight. Um, it's quite a confusing subject. It's like, because people misuse the word weight all the time when they talk about how much they weigh, they're actually talking about their mass. Um, there's confusions with units, there's confusions as to which one changes depending on if you're on the moon or not. So I'm hoping this video will help clear up some of those discrepancies, some of the confusions. Right, so first of all, to understand the difference between weight and mass, we need to get to the grips with the word force, because weight is an example of a force, whereas mass isn't. So what is a force? Well, a force is a push or a pull, and we might not be able to see forces necessarily, but we can see the effect that they have on objects. So, a force may cause an object to speed up, it might cause it to change direction, or it might even change its shape. So, force is a strange thing, because remember, you can't always see it, but you can see its effect. You can measure the size of a force using a force meter, and remember that the units are always in newtons. And because I told you just now that weight is an example of a force, the units of weight is also newtons. Right, mass is slightly different, because remember, force and weight and mass they're kind of related, but it's complicated. Mass is measured in kilograms. So when people talk about weighing themselves on a set of weighing scales, they're really talking about calculating their mass, which is, again, why it's so confusing. So when you pop yourself on the weighing scales, you'll see that your mass is, I don't know, 60 kilograms. Um, and that's not your weight, that's your mass. And your mass is a measure of how much matter there is inside of you. So it doesn't matter where you go, what planet you're stood on, your mass will always be the same. However, because weight depends on gravity, and gravity varies, you'll see a difference in your weight in different places. So remember, gravity is a force which attracts objects together, and you'll get a larger gravitational force if you have a larger mass object, so an object with a larger mass, all the objects are closer together, and all objects are exerting gravitational force on another, but that force will vary depending on the size of the object. Right, so, on Earth, the gravitational um, field strength, gravitational force, is around 10 newtons per kilogram. Use the number 10 because that's the easiest way of looking at it. Um, so, you can calculate your weight if you know the mass because the way you convert between weight and mass is weight equals mass times gravity. So, if you know your mass in kilograms and you know that gravity is 10, then you can just times those two numbers together to get your weight in newtons. So, for example, if you have an astronaut that has a mass of about 120 kilograms, remember that his mass on the Earth and on the Moon will be the same, because mass stays the same. However, his weight will drastically vary, because on the Earth, he will have a weight of 1,200 newtons, but because the gravity is so much less on the Moon, his weight will only about be about 200 newtons. Um, I hope that's cleared up some of the confusion with weight and mass. I know physics is tricky, it's always been my pupil's least favourite topic, um, but let me know what you thought of the video and big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, comments as usual below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!